Hello, welcome to today's tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how I make this boxes on your screen. Um, they are known as uh, branded, some people call it customized but uh, branded is a more proper name for these boxes. They are used to pack um, press on nails and um, today I'm going to be showing you a step by step process of how I make these boxes all right let's get into uh, the process so I make this uh, box by printing on uh, SAV I don't know what the full meaning is but this paper you see in my hand is sticky once I remove uh, I detach it from its uh, underlining paper so the design is uh, 2.5 by 7.5 you can see I'm measuring um, that piece of straw board uh, that's a straw board okay and the length and breadth is 7.5 by 2.5 okay so the design of this uh, paper here is 8.5 by that's uh, the length and uh, 10 inches width Okay, I have other pieces of straw, but there is the 1.25, that's the width of my steel ruler, and another 2.5 by 7.5. So that um, single strip is 1.25 by 7.5. So I'm placing this uh, straw board on that paper, and I'm scoring the side so that... Uh, when I turn it over to remove the sticker, I will be able to place it correctly. So I just fold it, just fold it uh, a little. It's okay to press to press it. Um, it won't reflect that much. Okay, so I've done that, and you can see I've made intersecting lines using that fold. And this is the back of the sticker. Right now, I'm removing the back of the sticker so that I can attach uh, the straw board to it. Sometimes it gets really hard to remove, but you just have to be patient so that you get it off um, properly. If one side is not working, you can turn over to another side. And here you are, it's removing. You can remove completely like I did here because I've learned to handle the paper but if you know being sticky and to avoid air bubbles you can just remove a little part place the straw board i will show that in another video of how you can do it more carefully without having air bubbles on your sticker so this is me placing at that intersection i'm going to leave a 0 0.25 space um, between uh, each straw board so that when the completed card folds um, there will be allowance for it so ensure that you place them carefully along the line like I'm doing carefully and um, scrub gently to apply force now, now I'm going to be using my scissors to cut the joints so that I can fold them over remember the paper is sticky so uh, you have to be careful so I'm folding it over now and uh, I'm going to use the back of the scissors to apply pressure so that it sticks very well. This is really easy, I think. Uh, and it's fun because, you know, you don't need to go over applying glue or applying adhesive over and over again. Okay. So this is me folding the edges. It doesn't matter which edge you start with sometimes i start with the other end that i have not folded sometimes i use this side that i folded and if the box is bigger i would you know just divide the edges into different segments maybe in another video i'm going to be showing you that okay so i'm going to trim off those edges and um, i'll fold them in so carefully trim it off so that you don't cut into the straw board or another part you already folded.
now i'm folding it over and apply pressure with the scissors the head of the scissors um, to create a strong bond so do it on both sides and screw it again with the head of the scissors and screw it again with the head of the scissors all right so this is what the box looks like the cover rather this is what the cover wrap looks like okay let's go to the next stage of uh, processing Okay, so this is the second stage and here uh, I'm going to be applying the rope or the ribbon that is used to hold the boxes just like you saw in the pictures earlier. So I'm going to be applying adhesive now. Uh, that's industrial adhesive popularly known as Evo stick here in Nigeria. I don't know what it's called in your country. Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> what it's called okay and no this is not the adhesive you make using petrol and um, and inserts no no not inserts foam and petrol this is the industrial um, thing okay so i'm applying adhesive over the surface of uh, the inner surface of the sticker and i'm making sure it's done evenly so that um, i can be able to place the ribbon properly okay i already cut the ribbons they usually come in a row and i already cut the piece that i need i'm applying adhesive slightly to just the part that i need just that part okay and i'm flipping it over so that both sides with the adhesive can come in contact then gradually uh, I am applying adhesive again over that side so that I can be able to apply the lining that covers it up. So this lining that I'm going to be applying next is uh, uh, a piece of art paper already cut to the size of uh, my, my folds there. Uh, the fold of the cover so the the art paper serves as the lining it it keeps you know it keeps the ribbon hidden so that uh, people are wondering how it's attached and all and it also adds the beauty of the box you know so uh, that is uh, what uh, I am doing here so so the length of this um, art paper is uh, 6.5 by 7.5 7.5 is the length 6.5 is the um, total width of um, 2.5 1.25 2.5 and the spaces in between so i'm applying adhesive now to the surface of the art paper also so that I can have a strong bond between the art paper and uh, the sticker cover already. So I have a ton of, I have um, a few more pieces rather of that covers already made. So now I'm going to be placing the art paper over the cover carefully and uh, ensuring that uh, I have no parts uncovered okay and I'm also going to be using the bottom of the scissors and uh, applying pressure especially along those gaps especially along those gaps for folding if you don't score the, if you don't apply pressure to the parts first you will find out that by the time you have you know applied pressure to every other part those parts will squeeze in and sometimes it will tear or usually it will even it will tear the art paper so always consider those allowances and add them up so now having done this you can see that uh, uh, 
when I flipped it over, I have some parts protruding. So just trim off with the scissors and uh, you are good to go. All right, so having done that, uh, trimming with the scissors, removing all the parts, the excess parts, you know, showing off underneath, um, I have my cover completely ready completely ready for use but you know that's not the total part of the box there is still a base to add all right so um having done this the next thing we're going to be doing in this process is how to make is i'll be showing you how to make the base and uh, i think i will have to make another video for that so that uh, you know the process won't be too long so look for the part two of this particular video you are watching i i hope this really helps you you don't have to use uh you don't have to use stickers if you are starting out for the first time you can use any craft paper around you you, you can just retain the same measurements that i have used in the video above i hope this video really helps somebody out there to make the boxes they have always dreamed to uh, make or to improve your skill on box making uh, thank you for joining me in this video and uh, i really really appreciate you drop your comments and like the video and make sure you share it to people who uh, will be needing it and uh, see you in the next video